We all remember Blizzard games as some of the greater games we've had in history. And amongst those were Diablo, Lord of Destruction, as Diablo 2. But then came another game. This game was based off of what this great franchise They'll once was. And they tried to replicate this. But did it succeed? Then Diablo 3 finally came. And uh, after a long wait, all we got was an error 37. When you got the game on release, all you could see was error 37 over and over and over. And then after a long, long while, we got to play the game. And we got to create our characters and level them up to level 60 through what was a horrible grind. We all waited and waited for this game to come out. And when we got the game, most of us were very disappointed. At least I remember playing and playing and playing and not really getting what I had waited for. Because when I looked at the game that I had wanted to play for a long, 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 long time, all I got was a boring companion, which was one out of three, although he had some really nice talking with him, it just wasn't as fun as I would hoped, because the other ones had had uh, something completely different about them. You could have a, a barbarian, a war or warrior templar-ish thing, a rogue assassin, while here you could only have the templar, the enchantress, and the scoundrel, which were all kind of boring in their own way. Unique kind of boring. But what really happened? The mechanics weren't as cool. Not enough fury. It had some weird mechanics which really didn't matter. And you couldn't really play the game solo. And that was a really big problem for me because for me I like to play these games solo. And when I couldn't be the barbarian and just hardcore power through uh, through normal nightmare hell and inferno on my own I was like well this isn't fun anymore so eventually all I did was grind for money so I could go on the auction house and buy all my gear because getting my gear was too boring and I think that led to sort of what I would call the death of the Diablo franchise because they had invested so much time and energy into what they wanted to be the greatest, uh, the greatest action RPG. And when you're not really allowed to roleplay, you, you can decide between a few skills. But when those skills are just the same as ever... You, you can't really choose because in the old Diablo games there were trees, skill trees where you could always make, you could create your own core character out of these skills, you could master the art of making an elaborate like mother, it was huge and you could find out what where you wanted to invest your leveling and all that and, and it wasn't capped at 60 it was capped at 99? I, it's, it's a long time since I've played it, so I can't really remember. But still! And... It, it wasn't... It wasn't that hard, and the elite packs here equal death. If you're solo and you encounter an elite, elite pack as a barbarian, you're dead. And I'm gonna try and show you if I can find an elite pack. And not lag like a motherfucker, but then I can try and show you. But all I can remember is just this. And the only viable partner for me I felt was the Templar because he could heal me. 
which equaled me not dying every 22 seconds. Although the graphics were nice, I have them slightly lowered, so due to recording, but the graphics were nice. It was okay with all these quests, like the questing things here and all that, and the social right here is kind of cool because you can find your friends and all that. And I have random people I don't I don't know, and you had all this, and you still didn't get the feeling that like the feeling you wanted to have you could you had the teleport home but when you teleported home it was free you hadn't you didn't need to find a scroll of town portal and all the white gear is it it's it has no value and merchants are just there to repair your shit and i don't know it it was just the death of the diablo franchise Although my favorite character in this game is Covetous Shen. He is just awesome. I've I've literally gone through all he has to say because it's just amazing. It's even harder than I remember, Dad. I'm afraid I'm growing weak. I need a drink and a bath. And something to keep the sun off. Or maybe just a nice It's just the way he talks, it makes it makes my heart just oh my god I love this guy but that is literally the only thing that kept me playing this game and other than that it was just the like the biggest disappointment I could ever imagine although it was fun but when you live up to the hype of Diablo 2 which is one of my all-time favorite games it's just a big crap in the face like someone literally shat diarrhea into my face and that is the feeling I got and uh, the game just sort of died after the first couple of weeks as you can see there are you can go into the public games and it's kind of hard to find all of all of what you want you go into what the f hell difficulty here and it was just it was just not fun and the auction house is just a place to get everything for cheap because it's the only way and also the real money auction house I don't I don't know what was thought about this I who came up with that who decided that this was a good idea and so that is my conclusion. Diablo 3 killed Diablo. I won't spoil the ending, but Diablo is a chick. Who why? Why is why does Diablo have chick titties and armor tits? He has armor tits and is skinny with long legs and horns like my character. I d I don't even, I, I'm, no, 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 goodbye, no.